Hey guys, um, it's Viola in the making. Um, there's not much to say. Um, I just felt like doing a quick update mainly because I haven't done one in a while. Um, I've made some new friends. Uh, one in particular, um, Mezzo. I'm not going to use his real name um, just because that's not my right. Um, but, uh, a quick update on everything, um, I'm doing pretty good in school, um, I'm actually trying to write a term paper right now, um, I did a paper for my psychology class, um, and it just reaffirmed everything I felt about drugs and alcohol, um, I did my study I focused on marijuana and its effect on the brain, um, both male and female, from the ages of uh, 15 to 30. Um, and for a chronic user, someone who uses, you know, daily, the effect on the brain can last weeks. Um, something I feel very strongly about. Um, I do not promote drinking, smoking, any form of drugs. Um, if it's for medical reasons, I understand, but I'm not saying um, you know, illegal drugs such as marijuana, even medical marijuana, I do not agree with. Um, the Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, and this is the first time I will be single for Valentine's Day in over three years. And you know what? I'm feeling good about it. Um, as you all know, um, I've mentioned this a couple times. Uh, broke up, my boyfriend and I, um, my ex-boyfriend, we broke up over, um, actually, um, Saturday, it'll be two months, well, two months, um, since we broke up, and oddly, I, I'm feeling pretty good about it, I mean, yeah, I, I, I will admit, you know, there's always going to be that hurt you feel when you break up with someone, you are in love with someone you have loved, um, Especially our long-term relationship like ours, we were together um, over two years. And but other than that, and other than my worry for him um, and my extreme love of his family, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I've been talking to Mezzo, uh, and he's probably going to comment on this. Um, I've been talking to him and. I no longer, you know, look on Facebook every other hour to see if my ex sent me a message or a comment or anything. But I'm finding myself looking forward to the text messages and the Facebook messages from Mezzo. Um, from just because it's been a long time since I've had a friend that even though we haven't, you know, met in person, um, having that friend, that, that person you can just talk to no matter what, and I think because we haven't met face-to-face, -face, I feel more open to talk to him. Um, before people start saying it's so unsafe to talk to people you don't, you, you've never met and all this, I do it every day, you know. Um, and... Uh, it's it's just that simple thing of there's another a kindred spirit someone out there who has the same plans for life who have has the same kind of goals who feels the same way about certain things that that even if it's not a connection like you would have with a boyfriend or a girlfriend it's that connection of everything you think they think before you think, you know? 
Um, I lovingly refer to him as my BTF, my best texting friend. Um, in less than two weeks, we spent over seven, I think it's almost 900 something texts, not including the messages on Facebook and on the app we met with. Um, I mean, you know, I'm not saying, you know, there's nothing, you know, romantic there, as in we're going to meet up or anything, you know. Um, if we end up meeting up, we end up meeting up, but I don't even want to say that there's no feelings there because, you know, I can't say that when I don't know the person. But I look forward to his messages, just like you would with a best friend or something, you know, because he gets what I'm saying before I say it. And that's something that I've been missing from my friends. I mean, I love all my friends. I love all my church friends, all my school friends, all my friends at work. I mean, amazing friends, you know, but like I said, you because you don't know the person face to face, you don't meet them in your everyday life, you don't feel the sense to need to hold back, to keep those boundaries. Um, but anyways, I'll get that. Um, I wanted to show you, um, this is the contact paper I'm doing from the top of my desk, my entire desk. Um, the top of my desk is done in that contact paper and then it's going to be painted black, the filthy black. Um, I actually went and ordered the paint yesterday and I picked it up Friday, next Friday because um, it, it didn't have it in stock, the one I wanted. Um, anyways, uh, for all of you who watch my vlogs from FSCJ, um, Carrie, Michael, Jordan, you know, yeah, that's funny, Michael, Jordan, okay. Um, Elizabeth, um, uh, Stacy, um, y'all know about Soft Spots by Clint Van Winkle. Um, they're having a lecture South Campus tomorrow, PTSD, um, just talking about that. Um, I think the author is actually coming in about, I think, in a few weeks or something like that. Um, one more quick thing. Um, I want everyone um, to watches my vlogs, um, which is probably like maybe five people, I'd be surprised if I had five viewers, um, to leave me a comment, inbox me a message, um, video response, anything, um, to let me know what you did this week for someone else. Um, my next video, like I said, this is just my update video. Um, is going to be on the man in the mirror being the change you want to see in the world. Um, as I said in a past video, part of my goal for this new year is to get into more charity work, and I've got a couple projects going on. So leave me comment, video, message, anything, and let me know. I'll talk more about that in my next video.